Hello everyone, Lady Phoenix here and welcome back to some more Nino Kuni Wrath of the White Witch. So in the previous video we made it back to Motorville and found the Khalifa soulmate along what's possibly wrong with her. And apparently she's having res some restraint issues against her favorite food which is cheese. Now unfortunately we weren't able to make it in Motorville but here in Nino Kuni world or Drippy's world I should say. We should be able to do it by casting secret ingredient on these giant milk fountains. Which, oh, I gotta go to the other one. Which, I still say is disgusting. All the sand and the dirt or whatever, but whatever. Freshest, yeah, okay. Yeah, milk. <laughs> Maybe butter. Oh yeah, salt. Yeah, salt too. And I just said what the spell is. You have to use secret ingredient. I think this is the only time we'll be using this spell. Why, thank you, even though you kind of doubted me. <laughs> wow. Okay, that cheese wedge is just as big as we are. If not bigger. Yeah, I was just about to say we made some that cake kinda look good, I'm not gonna lie. What is that? Strawberry shortcake? Speaking of strawberry shortcake, there's some cheese cherry cheesecake. No, strawberry cheesecake in the refrigerator. I think I'm gonna get me a slice after recording this. Well, it's her favorite, so I'm pretty sure it won't be a problem. So anyway, how's everyone day? It's going today. It is May 16th on this beautiful morning. I'm on second shifts, which is 3 p.m. to 11.30 p.m. And I'm awesome. I'm charged. I'm rejuvenated. No more 12-hour shifts for quite some time, even with this new position. I'm back on swings and I do have to do 12 hour shifts on the weekends, but I only have to do it twice, well, four times out of the entire month as opposed to doing it all the time. So it's still a win win situation. Yeah, we, we kind of made some. The internet? <laughs> it used to be T Timmy Turner's. Excuse? You know, when his mom and dad would ask him how he'd get all this stuff, he'll just say, Internet. Makes sense. But then you'll have to question how the heck did a 10 year old kid manage to get all the money for that stuff? Jeepers! That's the Khalifa? She probably ended up this way because of. Shadar, the stinking rotbag! Oh. Mm. What is that divine aroma? Abu! Here, your majesty. Bountiful Khalifa, these humble servants come right bearing with... most delicious tribute. Whoa. Heavens, what a dear sweet child. Bring it to us now, there's a good boy. Please. Uh, huh? You want me to take it to her? <laughs> Quickly now, young man, bring it to us. <laughs> Did 
delicious cheesy wheeze. Do you have more for us? More? More! Bring uh, us more! Uh, more. Uh, uh, Magnanimous Cowleafer, if you continue to eat so prodigiously, I fear you may burst. A bull! We are hungry! Your request does not go unheard, Majesty, but I fear for your bovinity's well-being. That there is one utterly broken heart. What? But... She might not look broken-hearted, but depending on which bit of heart is missing, all manner of weird things can happen. See? What her Majesty's lacking right now is a drop of restraint. Restraint? That's right. And without it, she can't control the urge to stuff her right royal face. We won't be getting any favours out of her until we've sorted this out. You mark my words. Okay. So we need to find some restraint somewhere, huh? That's quick of you, Ollie boy. You have been paying attention after all. Let's go then, shall we? Please, you must do all you can to help Her Majesty. Not to put my mind in the gutter, but jeez, that sounded so wrong. I don't know about you guys, but I was slightly disturbed. <laughs> what in the world? You see over on the right, the Tiki Mahala guy, the stand is there. Grown dude spying on us. What the heck, man? Ah, no matter. But for now, we have to walk around Alma Moon and look for some freaking restraint. And my god, my mom turned on the heat on me. Why? Just why? That is a waste of freaking energy oh wrong way i was about to head to the cat's cradle <laughs> hello you know anyone that has some restraint do you now We just walked by a bull. Our locker didn't go off. Ouch. I wouldn't say that's restraint. I would say he was the uh, loyal, I guess. I think that's loyal and a bit crazy, but loyal. Alright, so let's go back to the palace and talk to our bull about some restraint. Oh, hi. Hi, kid. Strange that we, the locket didn't... Oh, what the... Oh, the kid. <laughs> I was about to say, what in the world? Strange that the locket didn't go off when we walked by our bull. But let's see if it'll go off for us this time.
can hurt but to try, right? Right. Her palace is kind of boring, though. I mean, don't get me wrong, it's very beautiful. But it's boring. Where's the water fountain? Or, in this case, a milk fountain? I don't know, a milk fountain would be more appropriate in here. At least it's not in the outside. Just, oh, there's our locket. And the outside, just having sand and dust and whatnot just blowing through it. It is possible. Peter Patience. <laughs> you just must stand there. Just lie back and think of Al Mamoon. What? Okay. Lie back? I, I I think they just stand there, Drippy. The power to resist the demon of temptation. Indeed. I hope so. She is a freaking tank. I really hope so. Queen Laula. What? I don't even know if I'm pronounced Lola. Laula. Whatever. Well, let's see if it works. These humble servants made your Mujesty's ailing heart whole again. I pray that our beloved Khalifa's most generous appetite has now abated. Well, now, we still wish to enjoy the finer things in life, of course. But we have come to feel that a measure of gastronomic restraint may serve to set a good example for our dearest subjects. Your words are music to the ears of your people. Al Mamun can return to its former magnificence. Indeed it can, and we are simply itching to return to our labor. Munificent Khalifa, should these humble servants not be rewarded for their services to Al Mamun? Indeed, they should. Boy, is there something you desire? Yes, Your Majesty, if it's not too much trouble. Well, what is it? We'd like to borrow your ship. Ship? Floaty wooty. Yes, of course. But of course you may borrow it. It is of little use to us. We will write a letter to the captain, ordering him to help you in any way he can. You will? Gee! Thank you, Your Majesty. Tidy! The boat is in the bag. But why in the world would a dear little thing like you have need of our floaty wooty? Yeah. Thank you, your 
continued, you see. Well, we asked you a question, did we not? Well, uh... Go on, man. Okay. We need to find one of the great sages. The great sages? Hmm. Yes, we are aware of them. Abul, we know of them, do we not? Indeed, most learned can be found. But little has been heard of such men since the magical arts fell from favor. Why do you seek the great sages, travelers? We need their help. We need their power to defeat Shaddaa. <gasps> what? Is, is something wrong? <laughs> we are not unamused. But we can see that you speak in earnest. Very well. We will tell you what we know. You will? I can't wait to hear it. There were once four great sages. We understand that one of them was defeated by Shaddaa. Mom. Ah. Oh. But we know of one who did not perish. You do? Well. He lives in the land of Hamlin, a detestable and warlike realm. Uh, but he is a handsome young thing. We even keep a picture of him. A ball? Crikey, sounds like she's got a bit of a crush on the poor lad. So this is one of the great sages, huh? That's a clue and a half, that is, Ollie boy. There's Lucky. <laughs> now, before you take your leave, we shall teach you some magic to aid you on your journey. Really? You're a wizard too, your majesty. <laughs> well, not a fully-fledged wizard, perhaps, but... We royals all know a few select spells. King Tom undoubtedly has a trick or two of his own kingly sleeves. He sure does. He taught me some real neat magic. <laughs> How quaint. We hope that you will find our own still neater. Here. Oh, yeah, man. That's a cracker, that is. A real classic, like. It's your lucky day, Oliver. Yeah. May it serve you well. Do be careful out there now, won't you? Yes, Your Majesty. Thank you, Your Majesty. Okay, I don't know about you guys, but I half expected her to shrink when she got the restraint, but no, she stays that size. Okay, anyway, I'm gonna actually end the video here, and in the next video, we I'm gonna meet you guys back in Castaway Cove. I'm actually gonna go there off screen. So, uh, you guys take care, and wait, hold on, wait, wait, wait. Actually, before I end the video... I think there is a little scene that we trigger as we exit through Alma Moon. I am not entirely sure, but just in case, I want to be able to show it to you. 
I do know there's one happened upon entering Castaway Cove. That I am sure of. Okay, it isn't. So, in the next video, I will meet you guys back in Castaway Cove. And we, we will continue onward with our journey. So, you guys take care. And I'll talk to you guys later. Take care.